Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you the to-do list marketplace template and going over the demo. So just starting on the to-do list page right here, we can see on the right side there's this green install extension button. I'm going to click that, another window will open up where I just hit install. And now that we've installed it, it's actually ready to go. Uh, in our back end. So unlike some of the third-party providers where we need to do some configuration, um, this template is already ready to go. So now I can go to my database and we see there's a new table that was created called To Do. So I'll just go ahead and click into that and show you what that looks like. So we have a task, we have a, a boolean for whether it was completed or not, and then we have a boolean for uh, importance. And then in addition to the database, there's also a new API group uh, called to do right here. And if I click into that, we see we have those basic CRUD operators. Um, so back to my marketplace and into to do, and I'll go ahead and click view demo. And the demo will open up here. And first we'll see uh, there's a description about this to do list. We can test this with your Xano account and we can also get the source code here on the right. So let's go ahead and test it with your Xano account. And when I do this, it's asking me for the Xano uh, base URL for that API group that was created. So if I go back into Xano and into my API group, and on the right side, you'll just see this base request URL. I can one click copy that to my clipboard, come back into the demo and just paste that into that field right there. And once the demo opens up, we can see we have a few different things we can do with the functionality here. Um, first, we can add a to-do. So let's say I want to add a to-do, maybe it's pick up dry cleaning. And let's say that's important. I can add it. And we can see that was successfully added. We can um, mark something as completed. So let's say I ordered the pizza for dinner. And then we have this search functionality here. So first we can look at just important only. So as you can see, these two items are the important ones. If I unclick that, we get mail package, which is important. We can look at just completed only. So I'll just get this ordered pizza. And then we can also do a search. So maybe I want to search for just dry cleaning. And pick up dry cleaning will show up. So that's really it for the to-do list. It's very straightforward, um, a simple task or to-do list. But it's a nice template to have uh, as a starter template when building out your application. So I encourage you to play around with it, check it out, and I'll see you in the next video.